In this video, we are going to see the pre-react phase or what all things that I do whenever I start making a new project. Let's have a look at the finished project. If you want, you can go to the leanprogrammer.com slash name hyphen it to see the live demo. This is a simple project that can be used whenever we start a new project or a new venture, but are confused what to name it. All you need to do is type in some keywords related to your project or your venture for example code and it's going to suggest you some names for it. You can also click on any of these suggested name and it is going to then I redirect you to Namecheap which is going to tell you whether the domain name corresponding to that particular suggestion is available or not. I'm super excited to build this app along with you and I hope that you are excited as well. But before, before going on to the react phase, before going on to the coding phase, there is one very important thing. First of all, we should ideate, then we should design, and then comes the time to actually start coding. So before coding, also there is a lot of work involved. So in this video, let's have a look at the pre-react phase. The difficulty level of this application is going to be fairly simple, and I have chosen this application to teach you the basics of React, like components, data flow in React components, JSX, state, props, very simple application as the one which you saw here, whenever we empty the search box, it expands this header. And whenever you start typing, let's say hi, and then it actually uh, contracts it. Then we are also going to have a look at the types of components, for example, class components and functional components. We're also going to have a little bit of look at React hooks. And then finally, we are going to deploy our React application to a URL similar to this one. So special thanks to this person for making the startup name generator library, which I have used in this project. So coming on to the pre-React phase, basically there's a lot of process involved whenever you start making any project. The first thing is you should ideate. Then you should make a rough sketch. After making a rough sketch, you can start off by building some, some low fidelity wireframes. After those wireframes, you can build a small prototype and design your app. Once you are done with the design, now comes to the coding phase, not the actual coding phase, but the thinking phase. Whenever you come to this particular phase, you should actually uh, think about the architecture of this application. How is it going to look like? What will be the flow, the sequence diagram? How are how the user is going to land up on the first page? What all actions he, uh, can he select, and what all things can he do in that particular action uh, in that particular application? So this is a fairly simple application, so it will not have all those big big things. But still, I have tried to make a few few wireframes for it and a few uh, component architecture for it to explain you how uh, our, how do we proceed with the pre-react or the pre-coding phase. I took a pen and paper and wrote down some ideas and some features for this application. For example, this is a very simple app, so I just wrote down that it will it should have a sort of uh, header and it should have a sort of uh, search box where we can type in our keywords and then it should return some suggested names. And then I built a small sketch with in on pen on on pen and paper itself. I built a rough sketch, and after having that rough sketch, I had an idea in my mind of what and how our app is going to look like. And then I started building the wireframes on Figma. Uh, you can use various softwares like Adobe XD or Figma uh, or some other application to build some rough wireframes. But having a wireframe actually helps us to know how our how to proceed with our application and what all screens will our application have, what will be the flow of user from one page to another and so on. Uh, so this particular application is going to be very simple. Firstly, it should have a, a header which maybe has some logo or a big picture on top of it. Then it should have a, a, a heading, say name it. And then most importantly, it should have a search box where the user can type in, type in some keywords. Once the user starts typing in some keywords, the app should start showing some suggested names to it. And that was some very simple low fidelity wireframes. In the next video, I am going to explain you what are React components and how can we prepare an architecture for our React components. Check it out in the next video.